Mike Bond here in Vancouver doing a little main event preview with my man John Gooden who is uh, working backstage on the broadcast for UFC on ESPN Plus 16. Justin Gaethje, Don Cerrone in this main event. This is as good as it gets. I mean, I think we've had more anticipation for this fight than some title fights recently and everything. Just uh, what is your level of excitement for this fight right here? Yeah, it's right there. It's right there all week. I've been in since Tuesday. I've, I've run into both of these guys a few times now and the moods are different in both camps and I think just the lightweight division right now and the recent events that we've seen, everything's building. This has been set up for a little while now and, and we're just now just counting down those hours to tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Now, they both successfully made weight 155.5. I thought they both looked pretty good on the scale. Cowboys there with his kid and stuff. It was a very cute moment and everything. Uh, just in your opinion, what are the keys to victory for each of these guys, if you could name one or two? Well, it's, it's a tough one, isn't it? Because statistically, and I have been looking at those stats, I've noticed that Gaethje has the highest output. He's the most accurate in a division right now, but he also takes more shots than anyone else. So that differential is not in his favor. And when you look at Donald Cerrone, he's so clinical. Some of those combinations that he's used to finish fights are spectacular and he doesn't need many opportunities to do that we've seen this resurgence in his game he's coming out a little bit hotter as well in that first round and he's going to need to be on his toes because we know that Gaethje comes out fast and hard he's in for a tough night it's going to be very very difficult to get Gaethje out of there but Cerrone is must watch TV the whole time you can never count him out and now he's got this impetus you know the gold is in sight for both of these fighters first time around for Gaethje we know that Cerrone's been there before. Maybe he thought it might not be in reach again at, at 155, but it is. And he's saying it doesn't really matter too much, but I mean, it's got to, right? It's got to mean a little bit more to think that he could get his hands on gold again. Yeah, and it's pretty interesting. Uh, Justin has talked a lot this week about how he's really adjusted his style after taking those back-to-back -back losses. And he said in the past two fights, I mean, they've ended pretty quickly, but his output has dropped about 85%. And it seems like he's determined to kind of continue that going forward. Um, is that the best way for Justin Gaethje to approach these fights now, to a little, like, kind of walk it back a little bit and not be so crazy out there, just throwing, throwing, throwing? Well, I've actually just spoken to coach uh, Trevor Whitman, who will be in the corner of Justin Gaethje, and, and he said that, that, yes, they've been working on exactly that, not being so reckless, but Justin has a lot of fun out there. And he's so mentally strong that I think they, they don't want to change it too much. And of course, you know, he's selling a lot of tickets for the way that he fights. So they don't want to, ch they, if you try and reinvent the wheel, what Justin Gaethje are we going to see? However, I, I think this is a really good opportunity for us to see some of his wrestling. You know, I love watching Donald Cowboy Cerrone on the ground off of his back. I'd like to see more of Gaethje in that aggressive wrestling capacity as well, just to show as a primer, if indeed he lines up against Habib, it's going to show us a few looks where we can make some, we have deeper analysis to look at. So th this might be the fight, but I know a few people will be like, Gooden, what are you talking about? We want this one on the feet, bell to bell, and I'm all for that. But I think that the smart thing to do would be to see a few different looks. Yeah. And I like to close out these previews with a little likely or unlikely. I'll throw a couple situations your way and you can tell me likely or unlikely. Okay. Uh, if Don Cerrone gets a knockdown in this fight, it's from a kick. Yes, that's likely. If he gets a knockdown, yeah. If Justin Gaethje gets a knockdown, it's from a punch. Yes, that is, that's likely, yep. Someone gets their legs taken out from under them via a leg kick at some point. Yeah, I think someone's doing a 360 for sure at some point, yeah. And last one, the winner of this fight gets the title shot, fights the winner. We assume Habib is fighting Tony Ferguson, gets the winner of that fight. Yeah, why not? I think these guys deserve it. They've, they've taken the hard road. Do Cowboy's always there, you know. He would always be there. You could give him a title shot now and no one would complain about that. He's earned that right. And Gaethje has been phenomenal since he's come to the UFC. Bonus after bonus after bonus, whether he wins or loses. And uh, I, I, I think he, you know, you, you can't help but pull for the guy. He's a fantastic character. So yeah, yeah, I think it, I think it would be right if one of these guys gets that show. Well, it all goes down Saturday. Uh, you can watch all the coverage on MMAJunkie.com and, of course, watch all of John Gooden's great interviews backstage during the broadcast. Thank you, John. Appreciate no it. Problem. Thank you.